Well, uh, over the years, our building code here in Florida has, has changed tremendously. Um, I've, I'm a Florida uh, native, so I've been around in Florida for a very long time, grew up in central Florida, and uh, now I reside in Jacksonville. It's a little closer to the coast, so uh, we're, we're all, whether we're in central Florida or, or on the coastlines, uh, subject to hurricanes. And, and uh, over time, our building practices have have been uh, refined in a way to to allow our structures to weather some of these storms so that we have a home to come back to. So if you're in an older home that has not maybe been retrofitted, that was built, say, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, uh, and so on, then those homes may not be as fortified as, as some of the current stock of homes that are that have been built recently or or uh, are in the process of being built now. So if you're in that situation, um, I, I would recommend that, that you have your home evaluated and, and look for any uh, deficiencies that you might have, structural deficiencies that, that you may have when you compare how your house was built now to the current building codes. And, and you'll find there, there may be some, like maybe your, your roof system is not attached to the walls in a sufficient way. And, and could be subject to damage if high wind, hurricane winds uh, were to, to uh, you know, hit your structure, right? So we, um, that, that's just one example. Um, your doors and windows, right? Those, those could uh, be vulnerable to windboard and debris. And so, so you want to just look at, at your structure and see where those vulnerabilities are and then consider retrofitting your structure before the hurricane comes so that that you're uh, in a better position to weather that storm and have a, a home that you can occupy quickly after the storm passes.